The Great Ocean Road is one of Australia's major tourist destinations. Thousands of cars drive along this scenic route daily, including international and inexperienced drivers. Accidents happen and cars do crash off the road and require rescuing. This job falls to the volunteers of the Apollo Bay Fire and Rescue Brigade and they train for it regularly. Modern cars are now much safer than they were 20 years ago. They're stronger built, which results in saving the occupants' lives. But it makes the job of rescue much more difficult and requires heavy metal cutting equipment to gain access to the occupants. The so-called jaws of life are the standard tools used. On December the 1st, 2012, the Apollo Bay Brigade performed such a rescue at Cape Patton when a Volkswagen Golf crashed 90 metres over the cliff to the rocks below. One person survived, though trapped inside. Along with their tools, first aid kits and blankets, crew members had to descend the 90 metre cliff face with 100 kilograms of heavy cutting gear at what was close to the safe limit of the rescue ropes. New technology has replaced the heavy hydraulic powered cutting system with a simpler battery operated tool which is not only much easier to use but is almost silent, greatly reducing the trauma to rescue victims. Two, three. Look, I've got a In rescue, the fundamental aim is saving lives. Often, depending on the situation, it is necessary to make two or even three trips down to the rescue site, wasting valuable time in responding to the accident victims. Lighter equipment would directly result in quicker rescues and all this equipment needs to be pulled back up the cliff. The heavy equipment used at the Cape Patton rescue required a nine to one pulley setup and almost two kilometres of hauling and lifting. That's tough work for a small crew. Yeah. 